So this is Gigabyte's X99 Ultra Gaming Board. As part of the uh, Broadwell E refresh of the X99 platform, it has some of the newer features that you might expect on a new generation board. We're going to take a look at it in this video, so thank you. <laughs> Check out techteamgb.co.uk for more awesome news, reviews and other stuff including more information on this product and many more. Stick around for this awesome video. So starting with the back of the box, as you can see there's plenty to shout about. Um, inside the box you get the fairly standard sort of uh, stuff including SATA cables, driver disc, manual and you also get an RGB uh, LED sort of extension cable so if you want to plug your RGB LEDs into your motherboard like the ASUS models uh, you can do and then control them and sync them to the board so that's also quite cool. Obviously being a fairly standard size that does mean that you have fairly standard components including uh, four DDR4 DIMM slots either side of the 2011 dash 3 sockets and technically you can run 4-way SLI if you're using water blocks uh, and you also do get a Molex power connector on the bottom to provide extra voltage to the PCI lanes if you were to overclock them. In terms of connectivity you do have an LED header as well uh, next to the audio header as well as plenty of uh, fan headers and USB uh, 3.0 and 2.0 headers as well. You also do get M.2 slots Technically you get two of them, although one of them is only big enough to fit a Wi-Fi sort of um, card in there as opposed to full SSD, although you do have a cutout on the back for that, so I guess that's quite nice. Obviously you do have uh, the standard sockets, although this actually has a heat pipe running uh, from the power phases at the top to the chipset then the bottom, and actually has LEDs built into the middle of all of the uh, RAM slots, they are RGB LEDs as well which is kind of cool. Now in terms of storage you have a U.2 connector and SATA Express or you can have uh, 10 SATA uh, ports uh, running in 6 GB per second and the rear IO is comprised of USB Type-C port as well as 3.1, 3 and 2 non-teamable gigabit NICs. Obviously the audio is powered by the amp up audio sort of area uh, which does light up as well and you have the uh, rather nice aesthetic of the white and uh, with red accents which is actually personally uh, for me anyway preferable to the more kind of black and darker accented stuff. Also if you want to see a full review of the 6950X or the 6900K, uh, both of those reviews by uh, tomorrow should be out for you so feel free to check those out. Now as I said in terms of LEDs you do have a lot of areas here and these can all be controlled via software. This is what the RAM DIMM ones look like by the way. And in terms of the BIOS, uh, while it is still quite bland and uh, not as uh, kind of easy to use necessarily, it still uh, does have all the features you'd expect and uh, yeah, kind of a, an aggressively red gaming look. So this is quite an interesting board. Now obviously this is a very similar price point to the ASUS Strix model and similar to the Strix model, uh, basically what we've seen is fairly similar feature sets but with RGB LEDs. Now I'm not saying that's a bad thing, in fact I actually really do like the aesthetic of this and how they've implemented the LEDs around the board. The random sort of LEDs are quite kind of weird uh, but at the same time it's less weird than the PCI locks being LEDs so I guess that's kind of a trade-off in weird LED placements. Um, other than that, uh, it is actually, in my opinion, a very stylish board. Obviously, I'm sure you can disagree in the comments down below if you like. Um, and yeah, for the price that you pay, obviously X99 is still expensive anyway, but um, in terms of the X99 feature set, I'm actually pretty impressed. As I said, it provides a very similar feature set to the Strix board at a very similar price. The only difference is that this doesn't have Wi-Fi built in, although it does have a space in the rear IO and does have an M.2 slot uh, that's the 30, uh, 20, 2230 size. Uh, so if you wanted to install an M.2 Wi-Fi uh, card, there's space on the rear IO for you to attach that, so that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's really a nice board. I do like the aesthetic. I like that all of the PCI lanes are reinforced and that they have uh, X16, X16 and then two X8s for a full quad SLI or quad crossfire setup. And yeah, that's kind of that. I mean, the BIOS is as usual, uh, at least with this generation, a little bit more bland color scheme, but still provides all the overclocking features you'd expect. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, overall it's a nice board and not too bad price either. So in terms of scoring, it's gonna be a four for value for money. It's gonna be a five for performance because most motherboards are pretty much the same and overclockability is really good. And um, functionality is gonna be a five as well. Uh, style's actually gonna be a five because of the uh, just general nice styling on this one. And it's gonna get five for the Tech Team BB score. 
is going to get the Gold Award because I really do think this is an awesome board and if you're after an X99 platform uh, and X99 motherboard this is a really good shout especially in terms of the kind of neutral aesthetics and being able to make this uh, kind of look really good in any build and obviously having a good feature set to go along with it. So that's kind of it, I hope you enjoyed the video, feel free to like or dislike depending on what you thought, but do please let me know what you didn't like in the uh, comments down below so I can improve for next time. Feel free to subscribe and before you go anywhere, if you're buying anything like this or your garden shed on Amazon, please do use my affiliate links as it's genuinely helping me keep these videos running uh, and, you know, on a regular Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis with occasional you know, extra goodness. In fact, if you're watching this on the day of release, there's actually going to be the 6950 X review out tomorrow, so feel free to check that out. But um, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next video.